Early humans observed non-anthropogenic, natural, grafting in forest ecosystems. They tried to mimic nature and, thus, applying grafting, artificial grafting, not only in domesticated forest ecosystems, but also to cultivated plants, including fruit trees, grapevines, floricultural crops, and vegetables. In the writings of the Greek physician, Hippocrates of Kos, 460 to 377 BC, and Greek philosophers, Aristotle 384 to 322 BC and Theophrastus 371 to 287 BC grafting was clearly reported as a well-established agronomical practice at that time period from a practical perspective the existence of words rootstock stock or understock is inextricably linked with the existence of the grafting per se in fact, without artificial or natural grafting, there is no rootstock, and vice versa. Historically, critical roles of rootstocks have evolved through time periods expanding from years to millennia. This is due to dramatic changes in farming management requirements and or environmental, climatic, and phytopathological conditions existing in the field of horticultural crops from the ancient times up to the era of climate change. For many centuries, grafting was mainly used as a means of asexual reproduction of plant genotypes which were difficult to root, by using other methods of asexual propagation, such as cuttings, suckering, stooling, and layering. Through the following years and centuries, macro-observations of agronomists and farmers have given motivation to intensive scientific research projects, carried out all over the world, aiming to breed and select new superior genotypes for using them as rootstocks. The second half of the 19th century, the French wine industry was really in panic when the insect phylloxera nearly destroyed the grape and wine production. To date, this insect has never been eradicated or controlled by other chemical or cultural means, and still remains a serious problem in wine grape producing regions globally. The ultimate solution remains the use of phylloxera-resistant rootstocks. Additionally, from the beginning of the 20th century, Citrus tristeza virus has destroyed 1,000 hectares of citrus, more than 100 million trees, all over the world, grafted on sour orange rootstock, which has been proved to be very susceptible to Citrus tristeza virus. In this case, the best solution has also remained the prophylactic grafting of desirable varieties on Citrus tristeza virus-resistant rootstocks. Before the appearance of the Citrus tristeza virus, sour orange had been widely used as a rootstock to protect citrus against harmful effects of Phytophthora disease. Finally, the intensive continuous monoculture of vegetables has led to the establishment and exponential growth of many soil-borne diseases, like verticillium, fusarium and bacterial wilts, resulting in serious damages in plants, lower yields, and production of inferior quality commodities. To overcome this problem, in the middle of the 20th century, Japanese and Korean researchers and farmers were the first who succeeded in the large-scale production of various commercial cultivars, grafted on appropriate disease-resistant rootstocks. Nowadays, grafting off-root trees, vegetables, grapevines, and floricultural plants is a widely spread horticultural practice that is commercially exploited in many countries all over the world. Are you still watching and want more? Like, subscribe and leave a comment. More videos are coming soon. Thank you for watching.